So you want to assess some student work, and this is very easily done. We'd go to our assignments area right here. You have all your assignments. The one that we're working on right now is this short response. I'm going to click on that, and this will bring up the dashboard of the essay where you can do all kinds of things, including assigning the essay, adding kids to the hive, whatever you would want to do. Now for this particular assignment, you probably don't want to have kids in the hive because this is an SAR and you want them to write in an isolated way. So you could turn those off if you'd like. Um, you can also modify the lesson from this area, set up a timed essay if you wish, even set up a pre-write. But we want to talk about the assessment. So the assessment toggle is right here. You'll notice I turn it on and I can turn it off. And it's important that you select the correct template for the RACE constructed response. So right here, you're going to see that we have choices under Sheldon. Uh, the one we want to do is the constructed response RACE. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that and you'll notice that my assessment criteria comes up. Now, I can click any of the elements that I want to grade. I could do one, I could do three, but in this situation, I'm going to be doing all four. Students can make assessments on the uh, peers' essays, but we're not gonna engage that right now, but that's a nice feature for another time. Okay, so that's the setup right there. We go to the dashboard, we enable the assessments, we pick the rubric that we want, in this case the um, RACE constructed response, and then click off on validity, evidence, explanation, and grammar. Now that we're set up, we're gonna go up here to the Beehive icon, right here, and we're gonna click on that, and this is gonna take us to our various classes. Um, let's go ahead and go to period one right now and we're going to be seeing our students here. These are the avatars of our various students. So click on a student's avatar, and you're going to be able to see their writing right here. There would be comments here if peers were giving comments to one another, or if you, the teacher, were giving comments to the student. Um, you'll notice that uh, in this case, the uh, writing is color-coded, but yours may or may not be, depending on the setup of it. You're also going to notice there's a score here. Um, I gave Aaliyah a 95. This is a holistic score that the teacher can give to a student, but it is not part of what we're doing here with Sheldon to capture the data that we want. It's handy to use this scoring area. You could put an A, B, C, a, a, a number score, anything you want there. Um, but for the purposes of this assessment, we want to go to this icon right here where it says assessment, and you'll see there are the elements on the rubric that we wanted to grade the essay on validity, evidence, explanation, and grammar. So what we'll do is we'll start with, we'll start with evidence, and you'll notice that all the evidence from this student's essay became highlighted in green. And we're going to go ahead and look through that, decide where on the rubric it falls. I'm going to go ahead and go sufficient here with this student. Now, I can leave a constructed response, which they will see here. Um, and now I'm going to move on to explanation. And you'll notice that the explanation portion of the essay um, becomes more highlighted in a purple color. And again, I can leave that rubric score and leave a comment if I wish to. So when I'm done with this student's essay and I've done all the scoring that I want to do, then I'll go ahead and hit this arrow here and that's immediately going to take me to the next student's essay where I'll be able to score on the rubric like I did with the student before and now I'm just moving on and once you start getting into a role you'll start seeing uh, trend lines and tendencies and you'll know what you, you're going to want to do as you move from student to student and you'll be able to assess them quickly on the rubric um, and this data now is going to be stored. So to look at those data and those scores, I will go back to the hive, I'll scroll down to the bottom beneath the avatars, click on this box which says view assessment report and you'll notice that underneath I have 
some metrics that I can look at my top three students, my bottom three, only I'll see this, a group average, and I can start looking at trend lines on this particular essay, um, including their scores and their averages based on those scores. I can at this point uh, click on a specific student um, if I wanted to uh, look at them and you know this could be great for parent conference this is a great opportunity for a student conference if you wanted to show them how they were doing on a particular essay so we look at the metrics which are beneath the avatars in the hive okay so I'm done with period one if I want to now move on to another class I would go back to my classes here move on to period two and do the same thing over again. Now keep in mind that I can also hit the Essay Pop logo. This will take me back to my assignments area. Now if I want to look at assessment across multiple assignments, all I would do is hit the Assessments tab and now I'm looking at essays that have been scored over time and I start to see trend lines um, here as well. Students also, when they go to their assignments area, they have an assessments tab too. So they can see, or their parents can see, the scores that they've been receiving um, over the course of time as well. So everyone kind of has their different portal. The teacher, the teacher can see uh, their students, the, the student can see their own work, uh, etc. So that's basically it. That's how the assessment works. Um, it's pretty simple. It moves pretty quickly. And uh, it is uh, very effective and a great way to capture metrics.